So this is another video uh, concerning calculations that you can use with prescriptions in community pharmacy. And this video looks at prednisone dosing. Uh, with prednisone, any patients that are going to be on high doses or on the medication for uh, more than a few days should have their dose tapered. And we taper the dose in order to prevent suppression of the HPA axis. Um, if we don't do this and we keep people on high doses and then quickly take them off of the high dose, um, then their HPA axis will not recover um, for a little while following a discontinuation of the dose. And so tapering the dose um, helps prevent that uh, HPA axis suppression. But anyway, um, this is a typical prescription that you might see um, in a community setting and sometimes it may be a little bit overwhelming for the pharmacist or the technicians to calculate the total number of tablets that need to be dispensed in order to fulfill the medication or, or excuse me, in order to fulfill the prescription. So um, this video will kind of walk you through a quick way to calculate uh, the total number of tablets needed. So really there's three parts um, to each line in the prescription. You'll notice that we have the total number of tablets, a frequency, in this case the frequency is QD, so it's once a day, and then instructions for how many days we're to use that dose of the medication. In this case, it's three days for each line. And so what we want to do is we want to multiply the number of tablets by the frequency and then multiply by the number of days. So in this case, we have four tablets. So that's four. Four tablets. And we're going to multiply by one because it's once a day. So times one. And then we're going to go ahead and multiply by three for three days. And then so we take four times one times three, and we get 12. So for this first line, we're going to need 12 tablets. And we do the same thing as we work our way down. Now, what I've written here is more shorthand of the first line. And this is the way that some providers will write their prescriptions. They won't write POQD on every line. So it's implied that the QD applies to each line as we work our way down. So we then take our three tablets. We'll multiply by 1 for the QD. And then we'll multiply by three for three days. And we come up with nine tablets for the second line. For a third line, we'll take two tablets times once a day times three days, so we get six. We take one tablet times once a day times three days, and we get three. We then add up all the tablets, and we should come to 30. So we need 30 tablets of the 10 milligram prednisone in order to fulfill this prescription. Now sometimes we won't see the number of tablets written out. And instead what we'll see is something that looks like this. Because we'll see just the plain prednisone. But then we'll be given uh, strength. For example, you might see something like this. You might see something like 40 milligrams QD by two days. And then this dosing regimen uh, will continue. So you might see something like this. Okay, so if you see something that's written like this, there's an extra step that's needed because the pharmacist or the technician needs to decide uh, what milligram strength tablet to use. Now we're looking here and we see instructions 40, 30, 20, and 10 milligrams. So 
it makes sense to use either a 20 milligram tablet or a 10 milligram tablet. And depending on whether the patient wants to split tablets um, or whether the pharmacist will go ahead and cut tablets for the patient, uh, might influence the decision whether to use 20 milligrams or 10 milligrams. And also availability of either strength uh, might dictate which strength uh, the pharmacist uses. So if we go ahead and base this off a 20 milligram tablet, the first um, step that we're going to do is we need to take the strength that's desired, in this case 40 milligrams, and we need to divide it by the strength that we're going to use, in this case 20 milligram tablets. So 40 divided by 20 is 2. So I'm going to go ahead and put a 2 up here. We then follow the same procedure that we did in the previous example. So we multiply by the frequency, in this case once a day, times 2 for the number of days at that frequency and that strength. So we'll take 2 times 1 times 2 and we get 4. So we need 4 tablets for the first line. Okay, Then we'll go ahead and do the second line. So we do the same thing. We take our 30 milligrams, divide by 20, so we get one and a half tablets. And again, this is where I said um, if you use the 20 milligram tablet, either patients are going to have to split the tablet themselves or the pharmacist will do it for them. So 30 milligrams divided by 20 is one and a half. So 1.5. Multiply by one, multiply by two. Okay, times one for once a day for two days. And we get three. Okay, so three tablets for the second line. For the third line, take 20 and divide by 20. So we get one tablet times one for once a day for two days. So we get two tablets. And then down here, we'll take 10 divide by 20. We get a half tablet once a day for two days. So that's one tablet. Okay, a half times one times two. We add this together, and we get 10 tablets. Okay, so if you use the 20 milligram strength, you need 10 tablets. Now, if you don't f uh, feel like fooling around and splitting tablets, or the patient doesn't want to split tablets, instead what we can do is use 10 milligram tablets. Okay, so if we use the 10 milligram tablets, it's going to change this up here. So if we use the 10 milligram tablets, we do the same procedure. We take our 40 and we divide by 10. And so we get four tablets this time. We multiply by one for once a day times two for two days. So four times one times two. And we get eight tablets. And we continue down the line. So 30 divided by 10 is 3 tablets, once a day for 2 days, 6, and for this line it's 4, and for the bottom line it winds up being 2. We add all this together and we get 20. So we need 20 tablets uh, if we go ahead and use the 10 milligram strength. So again, this is a relatively simple procedure, but sometimes you know you can get some complex uh, prescriptions that might be overwhelming to staff members. But hopefully, this is um, just an easy way to go through the calculation. Again, remember you multiply your number of tablets times the, times the frequency times the number of days. In the second example, if you're given a strength, you take your strength and divide by uh, the tablet that you want to use. In this case, we use 10 milligram tablets. Then you multiply by the frequency and then multiply by the number of days. And if you have any questions on this or if you have topics for future um, videos, you know, don't hesitate to email me. I do read uh, all the emails that are sent to me. And if you need to email me, I'll leave you with my email address. And you can go ahead and email me, and um, and we will uh, do videos on future topics. Have a good day.